Jack Yates High School senior can pretty much do it all. He plays three sports and has a high GPA. Nate Griffin is live with this star student athlete who is making the grade. Hey, Nate. Hey, guys. We are live at Yates High School. And, of course, this is our student, Mr. Yates, Kamar Emanuel, and that's Miss Yates. How about that? Let's introduce you to everybody else. I know. I said that. Right. Here we are, the team, the team, the team, uh, cheerleaders, as well as the dancers. Man, students. Check out these drum majors. Sometimes, but she make it better. What you mean you like English sometimes? Cause sometimes English can be confusing, really. Well, English lit can be confusing, but she make it better. Pretty amazing since Kamar has dyslexia but still sports a 3.7 GPA on a 4.0 scale and favors English lit. Now that teacher's longtime Yates British lit English 4 teacher Ruby J. Murphy. She says KJ, as he is known around Yates, is a leader in and out of the classroom. He's always willing to help others, okay? And he's likable at Yates High School because most of them look, uh, look at KJ as a role model. And usually in our classroom, we always focus, we say you never know who's watching you and who wants to be just like you, all right? And most of the ninth graders I do know, they do come to KJ for advice. And KJ takes advice from his teacher, but what Murphy didn't know before this interview is that she is his favorite teacher. I was shocked to know. She's like a grandma to me, you know? So she's like my grandma, like she act the same way. She say kind words to me and everything, so I got Represent like I do my grandma. There's nothing quite like inspiration from a teacher. Meanwhile, just two subjects from that strenuous course load. B1 is one goal, B2 is AP English Lit, and B3 is digital, digital audio tech, and B4 is AP Precal. So even before I was named principal, um, one thing that I knew about him is that he was elected by the student body to serve as Mr. Yates. So he definitely, um, is somebody that the students uh, look up to and respect. And his mom, she, she's a bulldog on him about those grades. And uh, it's one of them deals where if he doesn't have the grades needed, Kamar is not playing on game day. Um, and he's also in a program called G-Unity uh, that, that, you know, that's based on academics. Um, and they go around and do different things uh, and kind of represent the school in that way. And you have to have a certain GPA and be a gifted student to get in that program. A nonprofit founded by 50 Cent. Meanwhile, Kamar plays three sports and is a starter on the offensive and defensive lines. I choose football over any sport because it's my go-to. Like it had me, it had me thinking. Life had me like be. I could be like, cause programs like this, you you really have to be like a when grow up, gotta be a man. I'm so proud of that kid. Not just him. Uh, but but this whole uh, football family that we've created here, uh, and I feel like all our kids are fully invested and bought in. And we are back. <laughs> Principal Stephanie Square, wonderful student athlete. Yes, I'm so proud of KJ. And there's a lot of great things happening at Jack Jay's High School. Super proud of the students. What was it like walking with this guy for your homecoming? It's amazing. I love it. I love everything about homecoming. All right, come on. Come on in. This is it for you, buddy. We're proud of you. Say goodbye. I feel good. I feel good. Very good. All right, guys. We're live here at Jack Gates High School. 
That was an awesome showing all morning long from Jack Yates. And how incredible that they are honoring him and all his hard work. I love that. Thank you for that, Nate.